Hello and thank you for tuning in to our environmental education channel here at Central Coast Council. My name's Ashley and today I'm going to talk about one of my favourite local wildlife species, the ringtail possum. Now, as you can see, they're about the size of a large uh, rabbit and they are really easy to identify by the white curly tip on the end of their tail. Now, this tip on the end of their tail is actually prehensile, which means it can grip onto things like tree branches, which really helps them to be able to balance up in the trees, which is where they spend almost all of their time. They're almost exclusively tree dwelling animals, which means they don't really like to come down to the ground at all. Now, while ringtail possums prefer to live out in the bush, with increasing habitat loss and also with the recent bushfires, they're increasingly starting to adapt and move into some of our more suburban and residential areas to try and find food and take up shelter. Now, they love to eat things like leaves, flowers and fruit, and they're actually nocturnal, which means that they find their food at night. It's a great adaptation for avoiding predators, and it then means that they sleep all day. Now they sleep in something called a dray, which is something that the male and female possums make together. And they sleep in there as a little family unit. They actually use their tail to carry things like twigs, bark, even moss, high up into the trees where they make a little round ball as a little home for them and their family to sleep in. Unfortunately, with the increasing um, urbanisation of our area here on the Central Coast, they are reducing their ability to find those building materials. So today I'm going to show you a really easy way that we can help support our local wildlife by building a dray to put up in your backyard. When providing an artificial dray for our ringtail possums, it's important that we try and mimic their natural environment as closely as possible. Luckily, hanging baskets with coconut linings are a really great alternative and are quite similar to their natural drays. If you buy the 25 centimetre hanging baskets, that can fit a family of four ringtail possums. And these 30 centimetre hanging baskets can actually fit a family of up to eight ringtail possums. Now the hanging baskets that you can buy from nurseries or hardware stores will come with a chain. And the first thing that you need to do is just pop that off for now. We'll put it on right at the end when we're ready to attach it into the tree. You will need two hanging baskets in order to make one possum dray. And once you've got both of the chains off, all you have to do is pop them together and use some cable ties to attach them all the way around the edges so they're nice and secure. Just pop the cable tie on, zip it up, and then you can just use some scissors to snip off that long end so it's nice and neat. Once you've done that around the entire circumference of your drays, it'll be nice and secure just like this one is here. The next thing to do is to make both an entry and an exit, and that's really important. The entry and the exit holes should be about the size of a tennis ball. And the reason we need two is because if potentially a predator was to come into one of the holes, they need to be able to escape out the other hole for safety reasons. Now, if your wire basket has lots of wires that don't allow you to have a hole big enough to fit the size of a tennis ball, you can easily snip off one little section of wire like I've done here using some pliers. Once you've got that space through the wire, you can easily cut through the coconut fibre using a pair of scissors. And all you need to do is make a little snip straight up the middle and then fold back the two edge pieces just like a curtain. That'll make a nice entryway in there. Once you've made a cut up your coconut fibre, you're just going to use some cable ties to tie back the edges of that coconut fibre to make a nice easy access hole through into the dray for the possums to get in and out of. Make sure you cover up any sharp edges that might exist in the wire and cut off any loose ends of your cable ties. Now, once you've done that on both sides, you'll be ready to start filling the inside of your dray with some nice soft material. I like coconut fibre because it's nice and soft and natural. You can also use lots of eucalyptus leaves if you have some in your garden. Once you've popped that in there, it'll form a really nice soft bed and the possums will really appreciate that, especially if it's cold. The final thing left to do is to hang the hook that came with the baskets back onto it so you have a nice secure point to allow you to hang it up in a tree. So just hook them onto the edges just like that and then you'll be able to use that hook to hang them up. Once you've finished making your possum dray and you're happy that it's nice and secure with lots of soft bedding inside, you're ready to find it a new home. 
Now it wants to be at least three metres off the ground in a tree, so you might need a ladder to put it up that high. If you do use a ladder, be really careful that it's nice and secure before you climb up it and make sure someone's holding it for you. You want to make sure that your possum dray is protected from the weather and also from potential predators. So to do that, you want to make sure that the opening isn't facing directly into any prevailing winds and you want to make sure that it's covered by lots of dense leaves up in the treetops. Those leaves will protect it directly from sun and also hide it from potential predators like cats, foxes or pythons. Once it's securely up in the tree with the exit and the entrance both in a nice safe position, you're ready to start seeing if some possums can move in. Now you want to possibly put more than one dray in your backyard if it's big enough because possums can use up to six drays. So the more drays you have in the trees in your backyard, the more chances there are that you will have a family of ringtail possums moving in. As with all native wildlife, our ringtail possums are a protected species. Here on the central coast, they do face quite a lot of threats, including things like climate change, attacks by dogs and cats. Um, our recent fires have had a big impact on their habitat, as well as the habitat destruction of our increasing population. They are nocturnal, so if you ever see a ringtail possum out during the day, that should raise an alarm. And if you call either wires or wildlife arc, up here on the central coast, they are really great at helping to protect any sick or injured ringtail possums that we might find. But the best thing that you guys can do to help provide habitat for your backyard buddies is to build a nice dray and pop it up in the trees in your backyard to provide them shelter and protection. I hope you have fun making them and thank you for tuning in.